Magandang araw muli sa inyo mga ka-learners. Last time, we talk about being a more analytical listener. We also talk about how to tell how accurate, adequate, and relevant information is. These will help us understand and retain the information we hear better than before. Today, we will learn how to tell if what we hear is a fact or if it is an opinion. We will also know about unsupported generalizations and exaggerations and determine if any conclusions we may have or hear is logical or not. As we mentioned before, information is everywhere. Not all of them, however, can be considered as facts. This is because Facts are based on first-hand information and or reliable sources. Some, like rumors, might fool people into thinking that what they hear is a fact even when it isn't. Advertisements like those commercials you see on TV or the ads you skip on YouTube might not be completely factual. They may share some facts, but it is only used to convince you to buy their product. This is an example of an opinion, statements which may or may not have reliable supporting information. To check if the information is a fact or an opinion, you should look for or do the following forms of supporting details. Direct observation or going straight to the source. This could mean asking the person directly or experiencing the event yourself. Reliable testimonies, which are taken from people who have personally observed an event or a person mentioned in the information shared. And lastly, reasoning, which looks at how the information was shared. It involves digging deeper into the information shared and applying a bit of logic. Let's look at a few ways we can use reasoning to separate facts from opinions. Have you ever heard someone say the following? Try this new fat diet, you'll lose 20 pounds in a week. Invest in my business and you will be an instant millionaire. Would you believe all of them right away? You shouldn't because these are examples of exaggerations. An exaggeration makes something sound better or worse than it actually is. You can tell if a statement is exaggerated if the claim is either too good or too horrible to be true. How about these? Have you ever heard anyone tell you the following? Priests can never commit a crime. You will die if you touch the blood of someone who has AIDS. All Filipinos love adobo. By now, you are already aware that these aren't true. This is because these statements are unsupported generalizations. An unsupported generalization is when people claim something is true for everyone just because it was true for them. It may have a bit of truth, but they claim more than what is actually true. There are many more examples of these, but these are the most common. You can apply these to any information you see or hear and tell what is true and what is only partially true. Now that you are able to tell which is fact and which is an opinion, you can start drawing your own conclusions based on what you hear. This is when you should start using more of your logic so you can properly act based on the information you have and avoid using fallacies. Fallacies are mistaken beliefs and are based on unsound arguments. These unsound arguments usually come from someone not being able to differentiate fact from opinion before they form an opinion of their own. Let's look at a few examples. You and your friend see one of your colleagues talking to known corrupt public officials. Your friend immediately says, that person must be corrupt too. My great-grandfather told me not to marry because 
He saw my brother get a divorce and my sister left behind by her husband. I got past a quarantine checkpoint at the border of our barangay. I am now confident I won't be stopped at any other checkpoints after that. These are examples of illogical conclusions, all exhibiting a hasty generalization. It's when someone jumps to a conclusion without sufficient proof. Avoid this and other fallacies or illogical conclusions by carefully examining the information you have and checking with other sources of information. This way, you can tell if the information you have is true or not. Before we end this lesson, remember the following. Number one, facts are based on first-hand information or reliable sources. News reports are factual if they are not based on hearsay. Opinions may not have reliable information as support. Number two, analyze information to tell if it's true or not. You can do this through direct observation, reliable testimonies, or by studying if the information has enough logical support. Number three, unsupported generalizations and exaggerations should not be taken as facts. If something is too good or too horrible to be true, it probably is. Number four, conclusions based on information should be logical. You can get to logical conclusions by carefully analyzing the facts and verifying if they are indeed true or not by going to other reliable sources. Hopefully, you can now tell what is true and what isn't. If you are still having trouble, just remember our tips. Makita kita ulit tayo sa susunod, mga ka-learners!